Huawei a la volonté de partager son expérience qui s'étend sur deux décennies dans l'industrie ferroviaire et de présenter ses solutions innovantes dans ce domaine. C'est ce qu'a souligné le vice-président de Huawei Aviation et Real Business Unit, Xiangxi, en marge des travaux de la 11e édition du Congrès mondial de l'Union internationale des chemins de fer sur la grande vitesse placée sous le haut patronage de Sa Majesté le Roi Mohamed VI. I think for the artificial intelligence, uh, the main idea is to improve efficiency. Uh, for example, for the uh, for the CCTV solution, uh, previously we have the video, uh, but not too much intelligence uh, for that part. And now we can bring more, you know, artificial intelligence or intelligent analysis of the of the camera. Uh, like I said, for the real parameter, we can use the radar to detect. The size and speed, its people, animal, what's the size, what's its speed. Um, but it makes some, make a uh, mistake sometimes. Then we use a camera to recheck. And the, the camera, the CCTV video, we can have some intelligence for that part. Then we can say, you know, we can recheck if uh, it's people walking along the track shoulder or cross the railway, it could cause some accident. Then we can trigger some alarm autom automatically. That is one way. And also for some, you know, for the maintenance, uh, before uh, we have this, you know, uh, we need to do the manual check of the metro station or the train station or for the rolling stock. And now we use this, we can take pictures or videos of the rolling stock. Uh, then the artificial intelligence can replace 60% items, what we could be done manually before, but now it can use the AI to automatically detect if any failure could happen in some mechanic part, it can identify it automatically. So it also improves efficiency for the maintenance. So for the security, for the maintenance, and also for the operation, you know, uh, the, the camera can do some people counting. It can see how density the train station is. And also we can also connect this information from the ticketing system. We combine it uh, as a big data. So we can predict the passenger flow in 10 minutes, 15 minutes, in you know, hour, hour. Uh, then they can do the rescheduling of the train operation. So they can improve the whole, you know, uh, the frequency of train to meet the passenger flow better. It also can introduce some you know, artificial intelligence to, to do that. So from construction, from security, from operation, and also for the maintenance, all this AI, you know, can play an important role uh, for that part. Of course, why we cannot do this alone? Uh, we need to work together with some solution partner. They have their uh, you know, in-house technology for the AI, for this industry, and we provide the mainly the connectivity and the platform. And also the video cloud. We put the video from different uh, track side, train stations together over one cloud, and intelligence can be introduced by our solution partners. As you know that uh, Huawei as a world leading ICT solution provider, uh, we have been served the railway industry for more than 27 years. As the world leading ICT solution provider, uh, we are a key contributor for the 5G patent, and we are also a uh, world leader for the IP backbone, uh, the DWM project, and also the uh, campus network to cover the train stations. So with this uh, nine year experience in the railway industry, and also the latest technology in the ICT industry, we want to combine those two advantages together. So I think uh, Huawei can bring more uh, latest ICT technology to this industry to help the digital transformation of railway industry. So we can bring people and goods from A to B, but uh, on behind of that, it's a data uh, transfer from one system to another. So if we can do the data transformation more efficiently, definitely we can help to move the people and goods from A to B using the high-speed rail. That's the reason why we sponsor this uh, uh, USA High-Speed Congress. As during this uh, USA High-Speed Congress, uh, I think many delegates talk a lot about the, uh, the sustainability development of railway high-speed rail. And I think uh, we should think about this in a systematic way. It's not only the environmental sustainability, but also economic sustainability. We should consider the cost and the benefit that high speed rail will bring us, and also which is the right speed for us uh, between the passenger flow and also the CO2 emissions. 
And also, I think behind all this, and I said earlier that uh, uh, in physical world uh, has been real, change the way people travel and also the way we uh, for the freight lines. And behind that, in the digital world, we move data from one system to another. And uh, so I think we should also consider the technology sustainability. Previously, for example, we use the GSM technology, but now uh, it comes to the end of the life cycle because it's only 2G technology. Now USA is needing to define the FRMCS, the Future Railway Mobile Communication System, which can be 4G or 5G compatible. So while we have this kind of solution, then we can guarantee the technology also sustainable development and it can support the environmental and economical system of the high-speed rail. I think, uh, as I said, uh, we are our leading ICT solution partner and we have more than 27 years of experience serving the rail industry. And so far, we have served more than 150 kilometers railway, our wired and wireless solution and also white cloud and digital platform. So I think uh, Huawei can help the industry for the digital transformation from three aspects. First, uh, we reshape the connectivity. Uh, as I said, that uh, we have this uh, FRMC solution, uh, which can also carry the train control, train dispatching, and it opens the door to more added value services, like uh, onboard uh, CCTV, trackside CCTV, uh, railway parameter uh, intrusion detection solution and also IOT you know we can transmit the real-time data of the rolling stock of their uh, status back to the OCC so I think all this technology will reshape connectivity and second they can reconstruct the platform uh, before a railway operator bring their IT system siloed so the ICT info doesn't share between different systems but Huawei, we can provide the Huawei cloud solution. All the system can be shared. Uh, the storage, computing, networking, all this can be shared between different systems. Uh, on top of that, we can also bring the data and capability together in one unified platform, uh, like the AI, like IoT, like video. So all this capability can be open to the upper level applications, which can bring more intelligence from the construction, operation, maintenance, through the whole life cycle. So we reconstruct the platform. And third, we're working together with our ecosystem partners. They know very, uh, they have deep understanding of the real industry. And so based on our connectivity and platform, they can have more smarter application, you know, from the construction until the operation and maintenance. Yeah, that's the three ways that we can bring to the digital transformation of rail industry. Uh, reshape the connectivity, reconstruct the platform, and also enable the intelligence. Yeah, as we know, uh, as the high-speed rail, uh, you know, high, very fast development, the security becomes more and more important. Uh, so for Huawei, uh, now we are developing this railway parameter intrusion detection uh, solutions. Um, before, we have the radar, or we have CCTV camera, or in some times we use the optic fiber to sense it. But now we have a better technology to combine different technologies together. Uh, for example, our optic fiber, uh, they can sense in the vibration if anyone is trying to climb the fence along the real road, or if someone is digging, trying to steal in some uh, copper cable, then the optic fiber on the fence or underground they can sense this vibration. It's different from the vibration from the rain, the wind, or the train pass by. Uh, we can tell the difference between uh, the stealing or the climbing and the other you know, weather-caused vibration. And uh, we can combine this technology of the optic fiber vibration sensing with some CCTV camera with AI technology to combine those two technologies together. One technology could make some mistakes, but if we combine the two, we improve a lot the accuracy of alarm. So we don't miss any alarm, and the false alarm will be reduced significantly. By doing that, we can introduce a higher safety for the railway parameter intrusion detection. Au cours de cet entretien, 
Le responsable a également mis en avant certaines solutions et technologies développées par le géant de la technologie, notamment la protection périmétrique et le réseau intégré de Big Data, qui contribueraient à booster la numérisation du secteur ferroviaire.